In the last video, we have seen how to use the ADC inside LPC2378 in software control as well as software triggered mode. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to use it in software control, but hardware triggered mode. Okay. So remember in software control, uh, you can have only one channel enabled at a time. You need to keep the burst bit zero and these bits, they don't have any significance. And whenever you want a conversion, you want to write 001 to this start area. Once the conversion is over, you will get an interrupt, then you have to rewrite again, uh, 001. Now in hardware trigger one, uh, instead of 001, you can use any other bit pattern. Depending upon that, the conversion will be happening when that particular hardware event happens. So those events can be external interrupt zero and event on interface capture 0 0.1, timer zero, interface one capture or timer zero match operation timer zero again match operation on third interface so match we have four uh, interfaces zero one two three or timer one match on zero or timer one match on one any of them you can choose now these are hardware events so these signals can go either high to low or low to high so under which condition you should start conversion uh, which edge that you can specify using this bit field. If this is one, that means you are doing conversion on falling edge. If this is zero, you are doing conversion on rising edge. So by default, uh, it is zero. That means you will be configuring it for rising edge. So you can choose any of them. Uh, capture 0 0.1 might be very straightforward. So I'm going to use match 0 0.1. So whenever there is a match operation happening on timer zero, match interface one, at that time, I need to start a conversion. Now, in this case, you don't have to rewrite this value again and again. Once you set this value, whenever this even happens, at that time, the conversion will be happening. Okay, pretty straightforward. So in our initial case, uh, the previous tutorial, just to convert it into a hardware trigger under match 0 0.1, I have to just make one change, uh, which is this one. So as I mentioned, I don't have to convert again and again inside the while loop. I just have to configure uh, the control register once before I enter to this while loop. Okay, so this was one because we wanted software triggering 001. Now I am going to change it to this one, 100. So instead of one, we will have four then. Okay, if you want the conversion on falling edge, you will be making it C because you will be also setting this edge bit to one. We will do conversion on the rising edge when a match operation happens. So we can just keep it as for and I'm commenting it out. Now we need to configure that match interface. So remember how the match interface used to work. So we have your TC register, timer counter, then you will have a match register. You will have to load some value to this match register and they will be going to a comparator. And when these two values are same, uh, the output will become high. Now, optionally, you have an external match control register. Now, if you enable this one, you can create an external event. You can make a signal go low to high, high to low, or total that we have seen. So to enable ADC operation based on this match condition, you should enable this external event register also. Okay, so you need uh, some condition when some match operation happens, some event happens on external that is required. But it is not necessary that even should be sent to an external pin. So last time we toggled a signal on a particular pin uh, using this external control. So remember these external pins, they are controlled by our pin cell register. Okay, so it is mandatory. You need to create the signal, but it is not mandatory. You should send that signal to the external pin. So it will come till here. And if you haven't configured pin cell, to route this signal to the pin, it will still act as GPIO. But this signal will come till here, this external match signal. So this is what is going to the ADC and acting as a trigger. Okay, so we will keep this one. Now last time, again, we enable interrupt whenever a match operation happens, because when we get interrupt, okay, we wanted to do something. Uh, for hardware triggering of ADC, uh, it is optional. If you want, you can enable interrupt on match operation. Even if you don't enable interrupt, no issue, because he is not working on that interrupt signal. 
instead he is working on this external event signal so uh, it will automatically happen even if interrupt is not enabled now suppose you want to do something extra other than adc when the match operation happens you can enable the interrupt and you can have a separate uh, isr to do something at that time but for adc uh, interrupt is not necessary okay yeah. so we are going to do a specific uh, case uh, what i need is i want my adc to do a conversion every one second so i will say like one conversion per second this is what my requirement is that means every one second okay there should be a rising edge this duration is one second so how can we do it that we can do using this match register if you know the frequency at which your tc is running we are using the rc oscillator by default uh, this guy is running at PCLK, which is CCLK by 4, which is like 1 megahertz. So period is like 1 microsecond. And I need a rising edge every 1 second. So I enable this external event to be toggling kind. You cannot just say uh, set bit external event because in that case, once match happens, it will set the external bit to high and it will remain high that's not what i want i want this conversion every second so what i will do i will set this external event to toggle this output and that toggling should be happening every half second you can see so toggling will happen whenever there is a match so here there is a match so he toggles here there is a match he toggles okay. so that match operation i should set it for half second so that i will have one rising edge every second so the value i will load to this match register should be corresponding to this half second so my requirement is every half second there should be a match and i know my frequency at which this tc is running is this one 10 to the power of minus six so from that i will know the value to be loaded 0.5 divided by one micro which will be like 500 thousand okay so this is the value i'm going to put it up my match register so I will get an event or a match operation every half second, but the ADC will be triggered only when the rising edge is coming. That means ADC will be triggered only once every second. So that's what we are going to do. So in addition to our ADC settings, we will have to configure our timer counter also. So match one. Uh, so this is what I mentioned. Enabling pin cell is optional. That means that square wave you are generating but you are not sending to the pin okay you just have to generate it it is not mandatory you should send it so that is optional and we need okay pclk all these we are going to run at default value we are in timer mode so we don't have to configure this one this we need to configure uh, this time we are going to use match interface one Okay, last time in the tutorial we used this one this time we have to use one because uh, hardware triggering is supported only on 0 0.1 not supported on 0, 0.0 so this register we need to configure so we already have our old code so here it was old with 3 to enable to enable interface zero so this time let's do this one so let's do it as two part again ideally this should be done by some functions we'll do it later so timer configuration for match i'll say this equal to not three okay last time we said three we wanted interrupt and we wanted reset this time as i said interrupt is optional so i'm not enabling interrupt because i don't have anything else to do when uh, match operation happens i just want to use this adc so i will keep this bit zero but reset we need then only we will get that square kind of thing so we'll have zero 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 one zero then all zeros so it will be basically one zero then okay uh, external match okay this as i mentioned we need to enable it so this bit should be one we are on match register one and these two bits should be one so that that toggling thing happens okay so we can write and we have our code so external match register instead of three one this time we will have c2 based on those settings and we also need to 
load the value to the match register whatever value we want we already found it out so it will match register but here it was match register zero now we are using match register one so it should be here 500 thousand okay it's not mandatory you should always write numbers in hex if you are writing in hex prefix zero x if you simply write it he will treat it as a decimal number and he will just use it so those configurations we have done now what we need uh, we need to start the timer that you can do here itself or after configuring on adc maybe we can start here now for starting the timer here we use the functions reset and start okay so let's bring them here and these functions let's copy them here again if they were written in a header file I could have just included that header file which is a better design practice we'll do it later okay so get timer value maybe we don't want this one okay start stop reset even stop we are not going to stop but let's keep it there okay now we are good to go let's compile it oh looks fine it's but one extra line we need okay let's debug so we have our ADC here our output is going to come through GPA 1 GPA 0 maybe we don't want okay so let's see what happens we can bring the timer also if you want to see what exactly happens there so time is zero. Let's keep him here. Okay. So step by step. So you can see external match. We configured for toggling and reset. And this is the hex equivalent for our 500,000. Then we are configuring for ADC. Okay, DC interrupt is enabled for channel 0. Now you can see power down, we set it, and here you can see start condition. Previously it was like, uh, okay, now, now it has changed to match 0 0.1 because of this big pattern that we used. We reset the timer, we started the timer, we are going to the while loop, and you can see he started and a match operation happened at that time the done signal became high okay so conversion is over but our value was zero okay so if i come down okay to the output zero might have come so let's make it one here sorry one channel zero one here and if we go okay again done came because next match trigger happened and this time you can see the output okay again we are using the temperature sensor so this is the temperature equal to uh, whenever the voltage is uh, this one okay so now let's keep on running so you can see external match keep on happening and whenever external match is happening here done uh, because of GUI you might not always see it but done is blinking okay done is happening so if I change it to 2 here, you'll see immediately it will change. It's not actually immediately. If you do it on real chip, uh, it will be like happening once every second. So it may take some time. So if I make it 3, okay, you can see this will be like the maximum value, which he can measure close to 100. 3.3 is the actual maximum value that he can measure and this is behaving just like we have seen before. Okay, so this is how hardware triggering is happening. Now I will just show you that external uh, event which is happening. Since I didn't configure the pin, the external operation, match operation, it is supposed to come on this one, P1.29. Okay, so if I go to debug here and if I enable that 
okay port 1.29 and if I set bit here and if I run here nothing will happen okay it is always slow because that external event is happening but it is not being routed to that pin because we didn't configure the pin cell register okay. so if you wish uh, you can route it and you can see it otherwise also our ADC will still work okay so if you want to see it we can configure the pin cell it is pin cell 3 we have to configure you can look at the user manual and the value is C followed by 6 zero. so we'll say pin cell 3 is 0 at C followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. Or you can mask and do the same thing. I'm configuring everything else as GPU. Okay, so okay, let's try now. If I go to simulate now and run it, you can see there is that square wave coming. Okay, if I keep the grid size as 1, grid size is 1. You can see the period is exactly one second okay and this is what we want but let me repeat again it is not necessary you route that external signal to the pin uh, because of that you can see this bit here is toggling this is match 0.1 okay so i know this square wave is there it is also toggling and my assumption is the leds for displaying the temperature is also on the same uh, port so in that case, this is a nuisance. I don't want an LED which is indicating the temperature value to blink. Okay, so I want to keep it off. So in that case, I will not enable that pin cell and just use the internal toning signal. So that's it in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will have the burst mode operation of ADC.